What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Little Asakor, the Never Knows Best, bring you some more Tekken 7 rank matches. Jumping in once again, my trusty, tried and true Balra, who we recently re reacquired Sadie rank with. And it looks like today we're up against a Biako rank Jin player. Ooh, connection spiking. And everything, all the numbers look fine down there in the bottom right corner, but y'all seen it for yourself. Uh, you know, it's funny though, I believe in our last, like actual Tekken video, like I was playing Tekken in that video that I uploaded with, you know, the. A discussion with Majin Obama, but um, I think our last actual Tekken rank matches were against a Jin player, if I remember correct. And then right before this recording, I played a single rank game. I was I was wanting to record it, but I was having some technical issues with OBS, so that game uh, didn't get uh, didn't get recorded properly. Uh, but as you can see from the the, the the win count in the bottom left corner, uh, I, I did win that game. It was against a Sadio Jin player. Now we're up against another Jin player. So a lot of Jin going on lately, and then you know Jin's obviously like one of the poster boys of Tekken. Uh, is Ben, I guess you could say, well, I mean, he, he didn't really feel like the main character in this one, but in Tekken 3 and 4 and 5 and 6, it was pretty much all Jin. you know what I'm saying? And then, hold on. Should have seen that coming. Should have seen that coming. Uh, and then in Tekken 8, he's probably going to be the main character again. Tekken 7 really focused a lot more on Kazuya and Heiachi, I, I, I want to say. Um, but yeah, always been popular then, obviously, with uh, the Tekken 8 stuff. It, I wouldn't be surprised if Jin saw small spike in popularity so Hold that for me Boom. 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 word 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 best connection not the best another down back three free trouble okay we took that round pretty convincingly but uh yeah i mean biako's only one rank below us so i mean this would be a decent rank opponent to i should be launching that uh, to, to, to play out a little deathmatch, not deathmatch per se, because it's, it's not a true deathmatch because we're not the same rank, but you know what I'm saying? It's a one of us demotes or promotes. He's just tossing out hot, or that's not hot kick, right? It's can can, is that what we call it? I guess it's kind of a hot kick, but he's just tossing that move out like crazy. And I haven't been punishing him for it, so. I can't blame him. Oh my god, the lag. Nice low parry. You got the combo? Kind of sorted that. That, that was interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Fight. Oh, she's got a much higher Tekken prowess than me. Now that I look at it. Punish on that. It's fine. There's the rage arts. We're gonna get hit by that, but we're still plenty healthy. I mean, it's gonna do a decent little chunk, but it's gonna have to get. A lot more than that to take this round from us. A little down four. We tie things up at two rounds apiece. All right, final round in this first game. I oh, see. I don't. I don't get stuff like this uh, in fighting games where, like, when you're experiencing lag and stuff. But they have, uh, you know, display like this where. Um. My, my, I lost my train of thought there for a second. So like you, you can clearly see like the the the, the display, the, the numbers on the bottom right, you know, showing the ping and the frames and everything. It looked fine, but you can very clearly see very visible lag, like in the match. Oh my god, we got and we got steamrolled there at the end. Okay, okay. I want to run it back against this guy, but the connection was really bad. But I also like feel like I could easily take this dude. And I got to punish a lot more because he was just throwing out hop kick like crazy. Well, I say I, I should really be calling it. I, it doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? He was throwing out launchers. I was called generic launcher. He was just throwing out that launcher a lot, and I didn't punish it a single time. I'm pretty sure that's not safe. I don't know if it's launch punishable on block, but I, I even when he was whiffing it, I wasn't doing anything. Uh, this is absolutely a player. I feel like I could promote off of if I if I run it back. So we'll see how that go. It's not very. I hate when I accidentally do that though. That down back three because I really just want the down three. Which either way, he would have low parried it or blocked it. But I wanted the health sweep. Not, not that. Wow. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Damn. That did so much damage. That string was strong as hell. Back up. And he tosses that out very randomly. I was not prepared for that. Doesn't really seem to be much rhyme or reason behind where he, how or when he throws that out there. 
not mean to do that. Am I that obvious with one? I feel like I've gotten low parried a lot by this guy. He doesn't seem as a... In, in my head, he's not nearly at a... As, English is a difficult language. In my head, as I'm fighting this guy, he doesn't strike me as somebody who's that adept where he's getting that many reads on me. Is it just luck or am I that obvious with where I'm doing lows? Is it just luck or am I just that obvious? Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. What's not about to happen is you getting this perfect. God damn it. I messed up my down three, four. I guess I'll spend the rage art. Get it as close as I possibly can. Ooh, right it back, right it back. Down back three and down four. We take that first round. Can we run this all the way back? The reverse 3 L. Got some movement to him. I, I drew a complete blank when I got that launch and I just, I completely blanked on the combo I was supposed to do. I mean, we still got the round, but that was not very good. Oh God. Oh, come on. I, I just can't, I can't fathom him getting so many low parries. I'm like super mind blown. Oh God. Okay. He just finished the whole string. Did not expect that. But I should because everybody always finishes their strings. Everyone always finishes their strings. Um, at these ranks, I don't think I've ever seen somebody like bait you or like try to condition you by not finishing the string. They always, always, always finish it. And I'm guilty that oh, don't leave. I mean, I probably for the best because this connection is actually. I can't even say. I don't this, like. Like I said, this is something I don't really understand. It 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 tells me that the connection is perfectly fine. But there was. I mean, I, like I know I'm not tripping. Like y'all see it right. The game was very clearly lagging pretty badly at points. So it's probably within within my best interest to not rematch that guy, even though he's somebody I really feel like I should have been beating. But it's it's fine. It is what it is. I'll be back when I find the next games. So hopefully somebody we, that I have a clear connection with. And look, even Jin's the dummy character right here. Like I don't. Anyway, okay, five bars. Let's get it. Not Wi-Fi player and. I'll be back whenever I find my next games. Like I said, hopefully against somebody that I have a cleaner connection with, uh, and maybe hopefully somebody who's a say to your rank. That'd be even better. Wait, that'd be even better. Three bar. I'm good. I'm good. I'll be back. Uh, not quite what I was hoping for. We've got a Genbu rank Xiaoyu player. I mean, I guess I'll give it like two games, maybe win or lose. Uh, Cause I'd rather find somebody who's close to our rank. Like I was hoping for say to you, we got somebody who's even lower than the Bialka rank. Mind you, they only have three wins on this character, meaning that this is absolutely somebody who's probably like a purple rank uh, player or higher, and they're just playing Zhao Yu as a, as a side. Like they're probably like Mighty Ruler rank. I, I don't know exactly how the, the, the tiers work uh, in terms of like, uh, if you're this rank, then characters of this rank, I don't have those memorized. I, I'd imagine they're like probably like Mighty Ruler, so all their characters are Genbu or something like that. Oh my God. Okay, very aggressive Zhao Yu, very aggressive. I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down, man. Jeez, I, this is the most aggressive Xiaoyu I've ever seen in those 20 seconds and those 19 seconds. I saw more buttons get pushed than entire rounds I've seen from Cuddle Core. Or entire rounds, I mean entire like matches. Goodness gracious. That reached? I thought for sure that was about to whiff. I was so confident I was about to whiff. I had my thumbs already in position for a back three. I was like supremely confident. Wrongly so, I suppose. Oh my god. So many buttons being pushed. Really should have seen that coming. Really should have seen that coming. Is, is somebody this aggressive? Of course they're gonna be mashing Rage Art that whole time. I, that's that that's on me. That's on me. You're so good. Okay, okay, okay. We 
can do this. I again messed up the combo. I don't I don't know where my head went with, with, with my combos, but Jesus Christ, so many buttons. Okay. okay. Following as a character is one that when I feel like I'm being pressured a lot by an opponent, uh, like you're gonna one and done me, you loser. Uh, Tekken is easily, uh, whatever, man. I, I feel like I say this every time I play Tekken, so I better go say it this time. But I, Tekken players are such humongous cowards i uh, more than any other game tekken players are the biggest cowards i've, I've for any game i've played man um yeah Huang is a character that like when i'm playing when i'm when i feel like i'm being pressured a lot or i'm, I'm against somebody who's just pushing buttons non-stop like crazy i don't really know what to do like I, you always have the panic back one right help you escape pressure but uh obviously my movement's not <laughs> i can't really backdash that cleanly you know what i'm saying so my movement not really there so other than that, I mean, I guess like power crush or something, you know, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do as Huarang when somebody is like pressuring me that much. And I, oh, every single one of those rounds felt so winnable. I got robbed a couple of times, but it is what I mean, like it, it wasn't worth it for the points anyway. But again, that's another player where I'm like, hold on, run it back. I can beat you for sure. And but now it just hit, I just look like a salty loser. And uh, I mean, I guess you can, if, it, if it walk like a duck and it quack like a duck, but it is what it is. Yeah. Like in another Gendu, and this one's Lars, and it's not like I hate Lars. I just think he's so incredibly lame. Uh, matter of fact, I was watching Speed Kick stream a couple of days ago, and he was playing Lars, and it, like everyone, it kept popping up in chat, like why Lars? And I was surprised because I thought Lars was like people kind of like this character for some reason, uh, but everyone in his chat was like was like, was like uh, talking trash about him, myself included. Uh, and he was like, "Man, Lars is cool," and we're like, "No, he's really not. This character is so unbelievably corny." Uh, like definitely one of my least favorite characters not just in this game but like in tekken in general um i just think i mean i've talked about it before i just think his design is really stupid i think his moves look really dumb the speak is like you know what i used to agree with you guys but when you play him it's like it, it, everything just seems way cooler he's actually kind of fun so but yeah, I'm gonna leave that to the to the what is this dude doing? To to, to the large mains. You you got me bent ever picking this character up. I'll swear. There's more like a snake edge, I guess. Did it too fast? Good gracious. That true combo on on hit. Oh, okay. Left one. Need you to settle down. Nice backdash on the health sweep. Goodness gracious. Damn. Needed that. I really want to get to that wall. Got him, got him, got him. Okay, two rounds to one. Still alive with this. Yo, that turns around. What if I scrub him out? Okay. Got the counter hit launch. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Hold that. Down back three, down four. The classic. Just a couple, just a couple of little low pokes. You know what I'm saying? Just a couple quick little low pokes. Right? We get the first game. I mean, I guess I might as well, like I said, run the first to two. I was gonna run it against the Zhao Yu player, but they dipped out after one game. Maybe they felt like it wasn't worth the points, or maybe they just thought I was so trash in the game. Ironically, that they was like, oh, this isn't even worth my time. But uh, I digress. Maybe they hate Huaring because Huaring is cool as I think he is. People really hate fighting him because when he gets going, he feels like one of those really big offensive mixed up heavy threats that's like super hard to defend against. And I get that 100. Um, so a lot of people actually really hate this character. Um, 
But I, he's just so sick to me that I got just, that's just crazy. Granted, that being said, I'm actually using the costume that I don't really like that much. I mean, the the the, the outfit itself is cool. Like I, I rocks with it. I just don't like. I never. I was never a fan of the eye patch. I'm not. I'm not a big eye patch enjoyer. Not to say that I've never seen characters with eye patches that I thought were cool. I can't think of one off the top of my head. But the eye patch in general is not a design that like I. You know what I'm saying? This it is insane. Like Kenpachi is a cool character, right? But like, I don't really care for the eye patch. I mean, Kenpachi becomes a lot cooler when he takes the eye patch off. You know what I'm saying? From Bleach. Gracious. I'm up against some demons today. Oh, he knows that move. Okay. Nice duck. That, uh, that little backward kick that I do is actually minus 10, so it's, it's pretty easy to punish, but most people don't actually... Damn it, I was not ready for him to be doing some sort of jumping move at the start. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Again, pushing my buttons too fast. Okay, are we really about to let this dude just random his way out like this and no round round us by just mashing like crazy? God damn it. Not very good at sidewall situations like that. What a low parry. I'm getting low parried so much that am I that obvious of when I want to do lows? I've never been low parried this much in once. I've been low parried more in this video than I feel like I have the, the rest of the entire year of me playing Tekken. Not that I've played a ton of Tekken this year, but like I, I'd be willing to bet I got a couple hundred hours in it this year, right? At, at least a hundred or two. And I'm just getting low parry left, right, and center. And it ain't like I'm again. I mean, this dude's an 85 win Gambu player. So like he could be somebody who's higher rank, but I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know. But like, am I that obvious when I do lows? Am I really that obvious? I'm about to start randomly mashing back three. If that's the case. Okay, okay. I'm trying to use more mids now. I'm trying to use more mids now because I feel like he is ducking a lot, so I'm throwing more mids in there. Ah. A one plus two break. Oh, that hits you grounded. Wow. That crushed my mid. Or maybe it just came out faster. It definitely did down uh forward four. And uh, I got launched for it. <laughs> also, to the Lars and George, I know they're going to be some in the comments. What is it about this character that y'all like? I really got to know. If you just think he's fun, like, I get it. I can't say I've tried him out because he just looks so stupid to me. But, like, his outfit, his hair, his moveset, even just the noises he makes, he's just obnoxiously stupid. Like, I don't know, bro. I just think he's mad corny. His own dad don't even like him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and again, actually, doesn't no one in his family like him? Maybe he's relatable for some people. Maybe, maybe, maybe some people out there can relate, and that's why they like him. <laughs> oh, Lars is a loser. Nice duck, like he's not just ducking a lot. Yeah, he's just. Oh, an orbital. That was a great timing. Oh. Okay, I've, I've been relying a lot on just doing the back two after rage drive because it's what works the most right now against players. Like when I do back two, most of the times they just. They either mash or they just have to hold the plus frame. So like I'm usually just getting the counter hit there more often than not. Um, I have not broken that throw one time and it is the only throw he's done. Okay, he's also just done that at low every single time I've... Ah. Damn. 
Was that? I think. T bag. I, I knew it. Lars players are actually just as corny and as just as big of a loser as he is. They find this character relatable. That's why they play him. Makes sense. We'll do one more. I don't remember if that was two games or if he won two, but we'll, we'll make this the last one of the video and then we'll end things off. Um, yeah. Also, you're Genbu rank dog. We're like you and I are both garbage. Like even even if you beat me, it's not really a flex. Uh, we're very low on the Tekken totem pole. You also notice this in general in fighting games. The people who want to flex the hardest or troll the most are never actually that good at the game that they play, but they pick on those and try to find people who are just slightly worse than they are, even though they're also garbage. They try to make themselves feel better about themselves because they're not good, so they don't normally feel good about themselves. Um, if this guy was truly that great to where he should be teabagging people, he would not be stuck at Genbu rank, I'll tell you that. Uh, so whether you beat me or not, I mean, I ain't gonna lose no sleep over it, but I'll know that at the end of the day, you're still a loser who's stuck in the red ranks just like me. <laughs> in fact, he's a lower rank than me, so in theory, I should be winning, but again, rank don't mean everything, so. Oh wait, he has the two. Yeah, that that was two because he he wanted any key charge on me. God damn it, Lotus! Why did I draw a blink on my combo again? I've dropped so many combos. Okay, he's been blocking high there every time. Now when I've been doing it. Again, everyone's always going to finish their strings. Everyone will finish their strings every single time. Round three. Fight. I tried to backdash that so I could launch punish it. That didn't really work out for me. Think of launchers. What is that? Just YOLO at that point. Just YOLO at that point. Fight. Damn. No way. Okay, that does so much damage. I get trolled so easily in fighting games. I'm such a trollable player. Because like I be thinking logically and then people just do dumb shit just for the sake of being stupid. And it'd be working. I'll be thinking too hard. I <laughs> just went for four. You got it, dog. You got it. You got it. Well, he may have won the battle uh, in game, but I know he's losing the battle in real life, which is why he has to act that way. So that's fine by me. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't have people who love them in their lives, but I understand. That's why he plays Lars. <laughs> GG's. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this video like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for all this content that I'm bringing. And with all that being said, let's finish off today. And remember, nothing can happen to you swing the bat. Later.